Shadows need a buff. And here's why. What's good, YouTube? No getting here. Come with you today with a kind of a rant video. So it's not your ordinary guide video. We're gonna be ranting today about the Army of Shadows and why they need a guide so badly. But guys, I really want to open up the conversation. I'm gonna be replying to a lot of comments below. What do you guys think about Shadows currently? What buffs would you personally send to Net Marble if you could have direct contact with them and things of that sort? So before we get into that, make sure you guys leave a like on the video. Excited to read your comments. Also subscribe, turn on post notifications, all that other good stuff. But let's talk Army of Shadows, guys. I'm gonna be honest. I was very, very, very excited, you know, when I first got early access and I was playing through and I finally unlocked our first shadow, the boy Egress, right? And then we eventually kept progressing. We unlocked more shadows. I got the boy tank, I got the boy iron, I got blades. And then sometime along the way, the boy Tusk came and now he's one of the best metas in the game, right? But guys, I feel like shadow soldiers are just, underwhelming and i you know can kind of understand netmarble as a company they're very very fresh and brand new and this might just be me speaking as someone who's been playing the game for almost what three months if we go to our profile 117 logins almost four months so you know maybe it's just me getting tired of the repetitiveness of shadows and it could be that facet but guys i personally feel like shadow soldiers just aren't enough currently and I don't know well i kind of do have some ideas for you know how they could fix this obviously we know and it's been leaked and it's been teased that we're getting new levels of shadows the purple tint or the grand marshal shadows i'm very very excited for those because honestly that might be the game changer that you know we need prior to this video right so or after this video but when it comes to shadows now man it just doesn't feel like enough because the boy egress really any of the shadows even you know original or not game canon whatever the case any of the shadows man they should be able to hold their own if you remember the boy egress he one tapped kim chul and that boy was an a rank so egress at elite knight should be able to tank a whole s rank character maybe even tussle with a national rank hunter and my shadows are over here dying by serbs foot you know just by getting stomped right he gets stomped one time he's out of there right and of course the game doesn't want the shadows to be you know the strongest entity in the game but you can still do something to where the shadows just feel a little bit more better and one of the ideas i did want to share was buffing a blessing stone that literally deals with your shadows we're talking monarch's domain guys okay this is the legendary variant. Let's scroll down to the epic variant because I do kind of want to test this a tad bit. So when you summon a shadow, Monarch's domain activates. Shadows attack within the domain increase by 60%. The shadows also deal 100% of your attack every second to enemies within the domain. This lasts for eight seconds. So really, really quickly, I honestly want to test this out live in the flesh. Obviously not live, but let's go to floor 25 and let's just see how this works okay so basically i'm not gonna attack i'm not gonna attack the boss at all all right i'm not gonna attack the bear i'm just gonna summon my shadows and see what we get from there and then i'm gonna quit monarch's domain summon my shadows and see if there's a real damage difference because to equip one that monarch's domain as a blessing stone it needs to be game changing and here's my point right i think it might be best practice to probably get a shadow step so let's shadow step summon the shadows and then let them take care of that from there so he was like roughly 96 and then the bear is pretty good because he kind of just doesn't move so we're just gonna sit back into the shadows kind of disappear and oh he, he came and found us actually so boom and now, now the shadows disappearing so did about like 10 percent, and you know that's that that's like underwhelming because first off this is floor 25 you know I feel like as we as players and hunters get stronger, our shadows should be able to get stronger as well. But let's go straight, straight back. We're gonna go ahead and equip Monarch's Domain. Again, this is the heroic version. So hopefully the damage does scale a tad bit better. We're gonna unequip, let's say Pulverize, just so I don't change up any of my other damaging blessing stones. Boom, Monarch's Domain, there it is. Now it's gonna be hard to keep the bear in the domain, I can't lie, but we're gonna try our best. The damage really didn't, you know, decrease greatly after he basically got unfrozen. So let's go ahead and get straight into this. Boom, 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 go ahead and attack me. 
You big ass bear. Come on, give it, give it your best go. All right, I didn't, I didn't mean to summon a support. We got Purify going. So it looks like he's doing more damage though. I can't, I can't complain with this. Looks like comparatively, it goes from about 10% damage to, let's get a hard number, almost 20. So it's not that crazy. And then let's retry it one more time because I did summon Park there so to get an exact number we're just gonna retry this one more time didn't mean to summon her there boom 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 let's get straight into this but yeah i mean a five percent increase on damage dealt or a five percent decrease in your enemy's hp just by equipping an entire blessing stone is kind of insane i'm hoping here he was at 95 before the shadows kind of start doing their own thing let's see what the damage is looking like it might is this wow i don't know it's looking interesting it almost tied without monarch's domain so what is the answer what is the real answer what is the true answer tusk is missing his skills i don't know i don't know i feel like shadows should be more useful they should have more utility and if we're if we're let's say we're past something maybe shadow should get a buff you know like the conquest buff i feel like if i retry you know a three star whatever the three star may be my shadow should get a that 50 percent buff that you get on instance and on course dungeons now that's my initial thought right i don't know i'm spitballing here but netmobile has to do something with your army of shadows for the shadow monarch it's very very important it's very imperative that we feel like we're getting more use out of our shadows because honestly they just feel like another support and support for a shadow should differ greatly so like i said the boy egress you know at common solos kim chul or one taps kim chul you know no diff we should be able to use our shadows and feel like damn they're really taking a lot of this load off now of course that takes a little bit of the skill aspect out of the game so what could they do to counteract this maybe give us some cooldown maybe as much shadows as we're using or as long as the shadows are out maybe tie that directly into mana that would make players more so keen to adding intelligence so maybe your shadows stay out on the field as long as you have mana and then as soon as your mana drains boom the shadow goes away right then we're gonna get us we're gonna see a lot of mana bills we're gonna see a lot of players putting a lot of points in of intelligence but this makes the game more well-rounded it makes people more interested it makes people more tactful so i think that might be the best method when it comes to upgrading the shadows now of course we are getting the grand master upgrade so that might just be what we need i don't know what to expect from that as you guys know at the knight upgrade your shadows do get a obtained skill so maybe at grand marshal they'll be able to get another obtained skill with this maybe another shadows authority i'm not sure what they're gonna do very very excited to see what memorable cooks up in the future but with that in mind what do you guys think please let me know your thoughts below i'm very very interested to see what you guys think about the armory shadows yourselves we're at it be sure to leave a like on the video subscribe turn on post notifications all that other good stuff and join that discourse over the no good mafia and with that i'm out y'all take care peace